Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the distortion less line. Okay, so how to design the distortion less line from the subject transmission lines and RF system. Okay, our transmission lines and waveguides. So already in the previous video, we discussed the two type of waveform distortion uh, happening in transmission line. Okay, so what are the two type of waveform distortion? One is frequency distortion, another one is a phase distortion. So distortion means already you know, distortion means uh, the received signal is not having the exact shape of the transmitted signal, means that signal is said to be distorted waveform. Okay, so in order to uh, avoid that distortion, frequency distortion and the phase distortion, we are going to design one transmission line it is called as a distortion less line. Okay, so distortion less line means the transmission line without any distortion, frequency distortion as well as the phase distortion. Okay, so you see the definition. Uh, a transmission line is said to be distortion less line when uh, attenuation constant alpha is frequency independent and the phase constant beta is linearly depend on the frequency. So in order to design the distortion less line, that a distortion less line must have the attenuation constant alpha is frequency independent, okay? That means for all frequency signal, the attenuation constant remains constant, means the frequency distortion can be avoided, okay? And a phase constant beta, the phase constant beta uh, we, we are going to make this beta as a linearly depending on the frequency. So if you are making these two thing as a uh, thing means we can design the distortion less line. Okay, so first one, if your line is to have neither frequency nor delay distortion, then okay, if one line it have neither frequency distortion nor delay distortion, that this line is called as distortion less line. Okay. So in order to satisfy this condition, the attenuation factor and the velocity of propagation, it cannot be a function of frequency, okay? So in order to make a distortion less line, the attenuation factor alpha, it should be independent of frequency. Similarly, the velocity of propagation V, it is also independent of frequency. If you are making that line, it will work as a distortion less line, okay? So if you want to learn more about this, uh, what are the two type of distortion occurred in the uh, transmission line? So I will give link in the description box for that uh, video. Okay, waveform distortion video. You first study that uh, uh, topic, then you refer this one. Okay, so here we are going to design distortion less line. So the distortion less line, uh, in order to design the distortion less line, we have to achieve this condition, okay? So in order to design the distortion line, uh, line, it should satisfy this condition. So what does that condition means? The RG minus omega squared LC the whole squared plus omega squared LG plus CR the whole squared, it must be equal to RG plus omega squared LC the whole squared. So what this term means, so already you know the alpha and beta value. Okay, so you see uh, this is the alpha value. So in this alpha value, you see this uh, inner square value, Rg minus omega squared LC the whole squared plus omega squared LG plus CR the whole squared. This term, okay. So this term must be equal to Rg plus omega squared LC means that is the condition in order to design the distortion less line, okay. So the distortion less line is designed by satisfying the condition is that the RG minus this one, okay. So from that, we are going to derive a simplified condition. So in order to derive the simplified condition, uh, first you just expand it. So first you see this term, A minus B the whole squared. So you just expand it A squared. So R squared G squared plus B squared, omega power four uh, L squared C squared, then minus two AB. Okay, then similarly, you just expand this also in A plus B the whole square and multiplied with omega square. So you see omega square, L square, G square, omega square, C square, R square, plus two omega square, R, G, L, C. 
equal to similarly you expand this one in a a plus b the whole square you just expand it okay so then you see here what are all the term cancel from left side so left side you see r squared g squared is there similarly in right side also r squared g squared it will be cancelled then you see omega power 4 l squared c squared omega power 4 l squared c squared cancelled then 2 omega squared r g l c 2 omega squared r g l c cancelled okay so what are the remaining term only three term so in the left side only three term you just write in right side it is all cancelled so zero okay so from that you see uh, in the three term which one is common you take uh, omega squared okay so you see in each term consist of omega squared as a common term so you take omega squared outside so we can written as l squared g squared c squared r squared here minus 2 rg lc equal to 0 okay then if you are uh, giving this omega squared to this side means 0 divided by omega squared it will as a 0 and you see this part uh, you see how it is a square that is uh, here lg is a a squared cr is a b squared means this is a minus b the whole squared formula so we can written as this three part this three term we can written as a a lg minus b cr the whole squared okay so lg minus cr the whole squared is equal to zero so if you are taking uh, square root on both side we will get lg minus cr equal to zero okay so this is the condition for distortion less line okay so this condition it can be written as lg equal to rc okay so from that if you are rearranging the ratio l by c is always equal to r by g or otherwise the ratio r by l it is always equal to g by c okay so how uh, you remember this condition okay this is the condition for distortion less line so already you know the equivalent diagram for a transmission line in the equivalent diagram Uh, the transmission line consists of the four component okay four primary constant one is the resistor r inductor l then in shunt arm the capacitor c and uh, conductance uh, g okay this is the conductance g and capacitor c so if uh, you want to design the distortion less line the ratio r by l where is r in series on r l is there so the ratio of r divided by l it must be equal to the ratio g divided by c okay so this is the condition for distortion less line okay so you just remember it it's a very important two mark question okay so using this you may get a problem also okay uh, uh, sometime for a transmission line r value l g c value given so check whether the given transmission line is a uh, that is a distortion less line or not okay so in that you just calculate the ratio r by l g by c if these two ratios are equal means we can say that the transmission line is a distortion less line okay if not equal means it is not a distortion less line okay so that is the thing then next one for this distortion less line we are going to derive the parameters so parameter means uh, you know the prior, uh, secondary constant so what are the parameters of transmission line attenuation constant phase constant uh, then a characteristic impedance and a propagation constant velocity of propagation these are all the uh, parameters of transmission line so now we are going to obtain the parameters okay so first one in order to obtain the parameters of distortion less line first we are taking the parameter attenuation constant okay so already you know the formula for alpha okay uh, how it is that is already i posted one video Uh, how to obtain this alpha formula and beta formula okay so if you want to learn i will give link in the description box you can refer it this attenuation constant and phase constant it is a secondary constants okay already we derived the secondary constant in terms of the primary constant so the alpha value equal to already you know square root of rg minus omega squared lc plus this term divided by 2 okay so in this term uh, we are going to substitute the condition so for distortion less line what is the condition this this inner term okay this rg minus omega squared lc the whole squared plus omega squared this one is equal to rg plus omega squared lc the whole squared okay so if you are substituting this condition in 
this above equation okay if you are substituting this in a above equation so alpha can be reduced to square root of this rg minus omega squared lc then instead of this inner term we can write a square root of rg plus omega squared lc the whole square so this inner square root and this square cancel so we will get rg plus omega squared lc divided by 2 okay so here the minus omega squared lc plus omega squared lc cancelled so what is the remaining 2 time rg so square root of 2 rg divided by 2 so the answer is square root of rg so for a, a distortion list line what is the attenuation constant the attenuation constant is square root of rg so you see in order to design distortion list line that a distortion list line must have the attenuation constant independent of frequency so you see this alpha term in alpha term any omega term is there no okay so the attenuation constant alpha we make it is a independent of frequency okay so from the above equation we can say that the attenuation constant is independent of frequency okay so similar to attenuation constant the second one we are going to derive the phase constant so what is the phase constant formula it is similar to attenuation constant except this first two term in alpha you see you see the alpha formula rg minus omega squared lc in beta you see omega squared lc minus rg okay remaining as usual okay uh, then in this phase constant for distortion less line already you know this is the condition so if you are substituting uh, this condition in above equation okay so instead of this part okay so instead of this one we can substitute rg plus omega squared lc the whole square okay so the square and this inner square root cancelled so we will get omega squared lc minus rg plus rg plus omega squared lc so here the minus rg plus rg cancelled in the previous that second term cancel here this rg term cancel so we will get square root of 2 omega squared lc by 2 so here the 2 to cancel so we can write square root of omega squared lc so from that uh, this omega squared if you are taking omega outside we will get beta equal to omega into square root of lc so you see this attenuation con uh, phase constant beta formula the phase constant is linearly depends on the frequency so beta is directly proportional to omega okay we derived so for distortion less line uh the three condition one is the attenuation constant we have to make independent of frequency the phase constant it it is linearly depends on frequency we derive okay then the third parameter propagation constant so already you know the propagation constant what is propagation constant eta eta is nothing but square root of z by that means uh, square root of r plus j omega l plus g plus j omega c okay or otherwise the propagation constant it can be written as alpha plus j beta okay so uh, we derived alpha value for distortion less line beta value as a distortion less line what is the value of alpha for distortion less line square root of rg what is the beta value just now we derived omega into square root of lc okay so the propagation constant for distortion less line is square root of rg plus j omega square root of lc okay so the third parameter it is also derived okay then the fourth parameter velocity of propagation so what is the general formula for velocity of propagation velocity v equal to omega divided by beta okay so omega divided by what is the phase constant beta for a distortion less line omega into root lc okay so if you are substituting here omega omega cancelled so we will get 1 by root lc so you see this velocity formula the velocity of propagation is not depending upon the frequency for a distortion less line okay so it is also we proved so velocity in a distortion less line is independent of frequency so this eliminates the frequency and phase distortion okay then the last one we are going to derive the characteristic impedance what does mean by characteristic impedance is it not is it not it is nothing but square root of is it by y what is that it's a series impedance r plus j omega l what is y g plus j omega c where r l g c is the 
primary constants of transmission line. Okay, so in this, from the numerator, you just take L outside. Okay, if you are taking L outside, we can return R by L plus J omega. Similarly, from denominator, you take C outside. So G by C plus J omega. Okay, so now you substitute the uh, condition for distortionless line. So what is the condition for distortionless line? The ratio R by L, it must be equal to G divided by C. So that's why this part must be equal to this part. Okay, so that's why this one, this one cancelled. So what is the remaining answer we will get? Square root of L by C. So this is the characteristic impedance of, uh, impedance of the distortion less line. Okay, so we derived all this uh, parameters. Okay, what are the parameters we designed for distortion less line? Alpha we derived, the attenuation constant alpha equal to square root of Rg. The phase constant beta equal to omega into root Lc. Propagation constant equal to addition of the two things. Velocity equal to one by root Lc. Characteristic impedance is square root of L by C. Okay, so these are all the parameters for distortion less line. Okay. So we will solve uh, the problem related to this thing in the next videos, okay? So thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos and share this video to your friends also. If you want to learn the remaining transmission lines and RF system lecture video as well as MCQ video uh, in my channel, there is a separate playlist is created for MCQ separately, lecture video separately. If you want to learn, you just learn or otherwise I will give a link in the description box. You can refer it. Okay, so thank you. We will meet in the next video.